Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of JB Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing some maintenance to our boat motor. Um, this goes on my little 12 foot Illumina Craft boat. Um, really pushes this boat along really well. The last time I used it I noticed that uh, out of the water port it was almost pushing little to no water. So that tells me there's something wrong. Either the thermostat's plugged or the impeller itself is plugged. So we're going to start by pulling this lower unit off to replace that impeller. I bought a new one so I will bring you over and show you. There's two nuts that hold this on and the first one's right here. I started to loosen them up already so camera focuses. So the first one's right there. You have to loosen that one up at the same time you're loosening this one up. That's right underneath the impeller, or the propeller, sorry, right underneath the propeller. That's a half inch drive lock nut. So the one up top here is a 9 16 or you can get away with using a 15 millimeter. So you'll have to loosen that one up at the same time and let the lower unit fall down a little bit. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to set this up. Get this loader unit pulled off and see what the impeller looks like. So the first nut is off. Second nut comes off, you have to drop the lower unit a little bit, so this this nut has to come out first. That's the only way this nut's going to come out. And then when we put it back in, we're going to have to remember this nut has to go in first, and then the other way around. So we are ready to pull. We'll just have to wiggle this back and forth, and here we're dropping down. But I do know that the impeller is in here, so we're going to have to take this shaft off. There's also a key that we're going to have to watch out for. So let me get this set up. I'm going to put this up on the vise, I think, and uh, we'll work on it from there. Now what we're going to need is a 7 16 wrench. We're going to pull this nut out and this nut out. I have a ratchet wrench. It'll be good for that nut. For this nut we're going to need a regular open end wrench. These are also lock nuts. Like there are washers you'll have to look out for as well. Now this should slide up the shaft. You have to go all the way up and out. Now that's replaced. Removed. Now with this pick, I'm going to pull this plate up. And now this exposes the impeller. From first glance, it, it looks like the impeller is not broken. We're going to pull it out carefully. And 
like I mentioned before, we have to look out for a key which actually fell down, which is no big deal. This is the impeller. No broken flaps. Uh, it seemed to be seating just fine, but uh, this is good. I'm still going to replace this. Here is the key. It's going to fit inside of the new impeller. Like so. I'm going to use just a little dab of grease. And this will help hold in place. You have to be very careful to not lose that. There we have our new impeller in place. Now we're going to replace this plate. There are two flaps in here. This one runs towards the center of this circle. And this run runs this way with the circle. This is the side that needs to go down. And there's a little slot right here that that piece fits down into. Fits in there nice. We can put this back on. washers Kit also comes with a new piece for the exhaust, and then we will fit this guy back up into where it's supposed to go. Now we will put this guy back up. Everything should fall right back into place. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Well, I got it. I uh, just got this nut started here on the front of the motor. I had quite a bit of problems getting everything to line up. I'm sure a lot of people are fr probably frustrated with that. I noticed that there is an exhaust. It's like a copper tube that comes through. That's the exhaust. And that plastic piece has to line up with the exhaust that comes down. Uh, I'm probably gonna pull this apart I really hate to but I want to pull it apart and make sure that I got that exhaust on correctly so um, stay tuned I'll be right back well good news I had it correct so now we're gonna put this bottom nut back on Okay, we are 100% back together from where we were, and this impeller didn't look terrible. Now before we get into anything else, I want to take the prop off, and to do that, we're going to put a board in here, give scrap wood anything we have. I have a half inch drive ratchet with a... 5 eighths socket This is a good time to check for all this line. It's got quite a bit of fishing line wrapped around it. So we're going to take this off. Get this line out of here. And inspect the power head for any kind of obstruction. So everything looks good. 
So I'm going to put this back on. Okay, that's it. Welcome back everybody. So we replaced our impeller. We've checked our propeller and removed all of the line that was stuck around the shaft. So let's get it started up and let's see how she pumps water before it pumped very little to no water. So gotta, let's go check it out. very nice stream to it. It's actually starting to warm up a little bit, so I know that the engine is actually starting to warm up already. Very happy with that. That worked out really well. So there we have it. That's how we replace an impeller. There are other things that I could have done to this. I just wanted to make sure it was good before I tore into anything else. I'm actually going to tear that lower unit off and clean up the shaft a little bit and get rid of some of that buildup from the exhaust. So I really just wanted to change that impeller and make sure that was it before I started in tearing into the engine a little bit more. Um, I'm really happy with this. This was an engine that I bought from a garage sale actually for $50. The original owner thought it was locked up. And when I got it home, I kind of diagnosed and looked at it, and it was actually in gear. So when the engine's in gear, it will, you cannot pull it. So put it in neutral, I cleaned the carburetor, replaced the spark plug, did the original maintenance and everything like that. It's been a really good motor for me, so I'm really happy. Uh, with two people in a 12-foot boat, with everything that I have in it, all my gear and everything, I can push it about nine miles per hour, so that's that's pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't need to go any faster. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and to all the people that have, I really appreciate all of you for your support. And uh, drop a comment down below on what you think. Um, that was my, my very first time replacing an impeller on a boat motor. Um, work on boat. I mo work on motors a lot bigger than this one. So all this stuff is a little foreign to me, but for the most part, we can figure anything out. So I appreciate all of you watching, and until next time with JB Outdoors, spend more time outdoors, and we'll see you next time.